Hi, welcome to Lunch Break Gardener. Today we're going to be looking at rhubarb. As you can see, my rhubarb's quite poor. It's been attacked by slugs, which they invariably hate, and it's quite planted quite close together. The two roots. I've got two rhubarb plants here. Uh, so my book, the one I use all the time, I don't know whether you can see that, uh, says that there should be three feet between the rows and two points, uh, two foot six inches between the plants, which clearly there isn't here. So today I'm looking to dig up these crowns, I'm going to split them and I'm going to replant them so that they're spaced well apart. Uh, so looking to cultivate the roots which as you can see there are not looking great but I'm going to try and do my best with this because this is a great perennial plant to have uh, it can last up to eight years if well looked after it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned so first things first let's dig these rhubarb up I'm so, going to put the fork right under the crown and try and lift it uh, to try and get it out. Ideally, these should be planted three feet apart. And as you can see, this isn't three feet. So they've been planted way too close together anyway. So these are our two rhubarb dug up out of the ground. As you can see, they've been attacked by slugs and the ground just looks awful. In my book, it says that like a loamy soil is best, which means quite light and not chalky or clayey or anything like that. Just very free draining. They hate to sit in their own water for too long. So I'm gonna dig this bed over. I'm also gonna dig the bed over next to me and then I'm gonna split the crowns and separate them so they should have enough space then to grow happily. I'm also gonna uh, give this uh, bed and the bed behind me a good covering of new compost and manure to hopefully help them uh, get through the winter. Right, I'm just gonna start by digging over the beds. So both beds have now been turned over, I've put a layer of compost on this one. I've got my compost here to rake out. So I've got some fairly new compost as well that I'm going to use like a mulch that I've dug out because I just don't have time to get proper mulch. These rhubarbs are permanent crops. They're going to sit in these beds for up to eight years according to Hodder. So I want to make sure this ground is good Okay, so I'm now going to rake this one over uh, on top of this, which I've dug really deeply, turned over. Okay, just get on with that. Hodder say to plant rhubarb three feet apart. Uh, but I just don't have that space. I have two quite small beds, so I'm going to dedicate these beds solely to rhubarb, each one. 
Um, but first of all, before I say where I'm going to position them, I need to split the crowns. Ideally, that should be done in March. Um, but I'm going to look at the crowns now and see how many pieces we can get out of this. And then I'm going to decide where and the best place to put them in here as well. And then I'm going to apply some chicken fertiliser, chicken manure pellets to where I want them to go. I'll probably dig it in generally, but I'm going to give a good amount to where I want them to go. Okay, so I'll crack on with that. I've had a look at this one and I think the way I'm going to do it is these two crowns are going to go together. These two crowns are going to go together and these two crowns are going to go together. So I'm just going to split that now. So, so I'm going to cut across here initially for these, for these two. And that's gone straight down. So that's what it looks like. So that's those. So now I'm going to do these two. So that's another one. And that's that. So that's them split. So the next thing I need to do is work out where I'm going to put these, uh, which I think they will get the best daylight from and the best protection from slugs, as you can see. According to my book, rhubarb hates slugs, so I need to work out how I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to put copper tape around the edge and mulch a lot when I can. Right, so I've decided to put one here and one here, which is four inches under the three feet that Hodder recommend. I've decided to do that rather than going to the diagonal because these are raised beds and there's compact soil either side of the corners. I just think they have the best chance in the middle. I'm going to dig deep. In go the chicken pellets. Oh. So that's the first two dug in, um, hopefully they will be okay, I need to get some proper mulch on the top there to stop the slugs, uh, it seems to be draining really well so that's good. These will be dormant now, so they've got a year to stay in here, I can look after them, keep feeding them manure, mulching them, 
and see how we get on next year. Join me tomorrow when I look at planting some sweet seeds and any comments on any of this, any rhubarb experts out there, please let me know if I'm going wrong or if I'm going right. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.